A new bill introduced this legislative session requires schools to tell parents if their child identifies as a gender other than their biological sex. 10 News reporter Abby Coleman spoke with both sides about its potential impact. A fight is raging in the General Assembly over parents' rights. A new bill will require schools to notify parents if their child identifies as a gender other than their biological sex. Narissa Rahman is the executive director of Equality Virginia and worries it'll create a lack of trust. If a student feels that their communications aren't confidential, you know, we worry that they'll be less likely to disclose important information to school counselors or teachers. The bill is named after Appomattox teenager Sage Blair. Her mother, Michelle, says if the school informed her of Sage's change in pronouns, she could have avoided years of bullying and even sex trafficking. I tell her she's not broken, she's just scarred. She hopes that her story will help save the lives of other children. Sage does not want any more children to have to suffer through the consequences that she survived. Faith-based organization The Family Foundation agrees with Sage's mom. President Victoria Cobb says schools should keep parents in the loop. It is stunning that we have parents saying, let me in to the life of my child, that the government is standing between a parent and a child. But Delegate Sam Rasool says he will oppose the legislation. Certainly we want to be able to involve parents as much as possible, but this bill is a really a nonsensical bill. That is not the focus of what we need to be uh, talking about. But Sage's mom continues to fight for parental information. Parents, you are not alone. This mother stands with you. We love our children more than any counselor, judge, or teacher. They have no business teaching our children what gender they are. Abby Coleman, 10 News, working for you.